So welcome back to another video with Daily Investing. In this video, we'll be going over the basics of Weeble, what are widgets, how to set up charts on the Weeble app, some different Weeble settings, and some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way to help with your trading, your Weeble charting, indicators, and grouping. So if you're already watching this video, I'm assuming that you're already on the Weeble app. But if you're not, feel free to use my link in the description below and in the comments to get two free stocks. One when you sign up and one when you deposit your first $100. Alright guys, so first things first, we're going to have to go into the trade tab after you go on the Weeble website. This is all done in the browser. Alright, so this is my trade tab right now. I have my main screen. Secondary screen. This is what I use for my secondary monitors because it's a different size. Uh, this is the one that I use to record on YouTube because it's the most clear. And this is the one that I use for options. So if you're just starting out, you're going to have to go to the top right corner and it's going to say new board right here. Okay. So you're going to click on new board and it'll open up this screen and it will go ahead and open up a blank page here. The next thing you're going to want to do is on the top right again, right next to save as board and where we open the new board there's a little icon that says widget settings so we'll go ahead and click on widget settings and that's going to bring up this new menu here all right so we have a tab that says general and we have a tab that says stocks now there's a lot of different widgets you can do so widgets are pretty much the windows all right so whenever you click on one of these what it does is it adds it here to your window and essentially this is what uh, the widget is so just to keep things basic maybe we'll have our watch list all right, and the good thing about this is you can customize the size. Now, some of them can only go so big or so small. So like this one, for example, I can't go any further to the right. It can only stay this wide, but it can go all the way down here. So just to keep it nice, we'll go right at the bottom here. That's our watch list. And we could do positions as well, just to see what stocks uh, we're currently holding. And uh, I'd like to put this on the bottom right about here. Going over into our stocks tab. Now, one of the main things that I like to have besides charts is obviously the quotes. Now, this is going to look different when market is actually open and trading. It'll show you the volume. It'll show you the high, the day's high and the day's low. All that information will be here. So we could put that either here, but I actually like to have it on the top. It helps me visually when I'm looking at the charts and you'll see here in a second what I mean. Now, before we add anything else, we need to add the next most important thing, and that's our charts. Now, depending on what kind of trading you're doing, some of you guys could just have one big chart or multiple charts. I'm just going to set this up as a basic. We'll do like a daily chart, daily chart here, and you can kind of see the trend. And just as a side note, you can add multiples of each screen. So if I want to have two charts, you see this, I can add this here and maybe we'll go like this and I can have this showing one minute and a five minute candle. This is more for day trading, but just keep in mind that you can have multiple widgets uh, on one layout. But just to keep it simple for this video, I'm just going to have one simple chart here and we'll just do a daily chart just to keep it simple. All right, next, I'm going to want to have, let's see, order book. We want to have our order book so we can see what orders are in, what's the bid, what's the ask, what kind of volume are we looking at? This is definitely a strong tool to have no matter what kind of trading you're doing. The order book is a powerful tool as well as time and sales. This will show you real time which orders are being filled for how much and what time of the day here. So these two, I like to keep it just like this right here just so I can look in one spot and I'll get all the information that I need just looking right here. Now the next important thing we need is news. We are going to need news because news is the main catalyst that's going to drive the price of a stock. Now, I'm probably not going to have it open large like this. I'll probably want to have this maybe like that. And the last thing we can do here is we need the trade window. What the trade window is going to allow me to do is it's going to allow me to execute a buy, execute a sell, or if you're a short seller, you can do your short sales from here. And that's pretty much a basic layout. Again, depending on what kind of trading that you're doing, just to fill the gaps, we can just kind of go like that. That way it looks more full. So for you aesthetic people out there that like to cross your T's and dot the I's, this uh, is a basic example of a layout uh, in the Weeble app. Now, one thing that I wanted to note and I actually learned on my own is say I want to look up a stock, right? Maybe I want to look up Tesla. 
So if I type Tesla in here, it's only going to bring up Tesla in this chart. All these are still Apple. Now, instead of me doing it one by one like this, which is what I used to do, I used to do this the first two weeks I started trading on Weeble. I used to type it all in one by one, one by one, one by one, because there's actually not a lot of guides out there that show this, these details. So after trading with it for a while and playing around in the app, I found a tool that's called grouping. And all you need to do, and this is on every single widget, guys, all right? Every single widget has this little line, a little line icon. It looks like a minimize icon, but it's not. It says set as group. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this. There's a lot of different groups that you can do, but I'm just gonna set this as group one, all right? So you guys might be kind of getting the idea here. Everything that's in the set group. So now if I type, so you see how everything's Apple here, okay? If I type Tesla in here, make sure you guys are watching this side, and I enter Tesla, everything changes to Tesla. Now this one little tool right here made my trading so much easier, so much more enjoyable, and it's definitely making my experience on Webull that much better. So that's pretty much the basics of the layout and how to do widgets. I may do more advanced videos as far as indicators and how to execute certain trades, what certain trades are, what they're used for, what they shouldn't be used for. But that's for a later video. I just wanted to have this basic video because I know when I first started trading on Weeble, I was missing a lot of information and a lot of this stuff I kind of just figured out on my own. So I hope this helps somebody out there, whoever's trading on Weeble, and just making your trading experience more enjoyable. I know that we're all home, especially during this time with everything going on. So, so if I can quote the saying, work smarter, not harder and we should leverage the tools that we have built in because Weeble is a great app and it's a really good entry level app and i hope it's able to help you guys in your investing journey if you guys did enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up and if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel consider subscribing to the channel and turning on that notification bell i post weekly videos of my dividend investing updates and i'll be adding on day trading updates every week so again make sure you guys stay tuned stay connected join the daily investing community subscribe to the channel and i hope you guys have a beautiful day i'll see you guys in the next video